best fake regeneration ever. No, I'm kidding. That was stupid. Ah, the lie of the land. Which is definitely the worst of the Monks trilogy, and I'll tell you why. It's because of this episode. It's one of those episodes that seems completely different in the next time trailer than it does to the actual episode, like Hell Bent. Because, really, what this episode should have been is the Bill, is Bill and Nardole. Working together, stop this, and yeah, if you have to shoot the doctor, maybe, but really, that fake regeneration. I don't hate it as much. Well, it's stupid. Because, well, it's trailer fodder, that's what it is. It's just there for the trailers. In the end, it doesn't serve any purpose. Build. It doesn't get them out of the situation, it doesn't help the Doctor in any way, it's just there for a cheap joke, even though we know it's not going to actually be a regeneration, because Piccapaldi's leaving at the end of this year, and it probably... This sort of thing, they did it in Series 6, which worked then, because it was a surprise, and it weren't in the trailers. This was in the trailers. We saw it, we knew it wouldn't be real, and it's just stupid. It's, it's just there for some weird reason. But hey... I'm in the minority here who actually enjoyed most of the episode. I mean, the start with Bill. Great. And when Nardole... Yeah, let's talk about Nardole. Last episode, he was dead. Well, he was lying on the floor, unconscious. Looked like he was dead. Turns out he was just ill. Nursed himself back to health on scre off screen, and then located Bill off screen. Now, I can get the locating Bill bit, but he seemed completely fine. Like, come on. You couldn't just have one little bit of him either being a bit disorientated or having a cough or something. I mean, Christ, it was a deadly virus. And cheap, cy cheap cybernetic lungs. Come on. If you're going to make that joke, at least bar some consequences. And the monks. Yeah, I know, as we saw last episode, they're kind of peaceful. Or they do it in, they attack in peaceful ways. Or stop attacks in peaceful ways. But they didn't really do anything in this episode. They were just there. Like the giant monk at the end in the pyramid. That was He was just there, sat there, didn't do anything. Monks at the start didn't do anything. It was just left up to soldiers. And I do get that in a way. But they've taken over the world. They're pretty much rewriting history here. And they should have done something. Because they seem to be completely different in every episode. Like in Extremis, they did seem like killers in the Pyramid at the End of the World. They just seemed 
sort of sociopathic in their ways. And in this episode, they took over the world and didn't bother defending it. They just seemed like they had it. They couldn't be bothered to do anything else. That they had the world. And they didn't have the bright idea to think that just someone might, especially somebody with who's travelled through time, might not be affected completely. That seemed a bit stupid for some creatures that generally have pretty much the most sensible plan in this series. It all came crashing down with this. But, I have, I have to say, this is just an annoying episode. I like it, but it just gets on my nerves. And not in that I'm annoyed that I like it, because generally I did want to like it. I wanted to like it as much as the pyramid at the end of the world, but no. Doctor Who's managed to replicate every trilogy ever made. And it's not, there's always the best one, the worst one, and the mediocre one. And unfortunately, it's replicated the X-Men trilogy and the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy. The first one's the mediocre one, the second one's the best, and the third one's the worst. Shame. But let's talk about story. The bit where the Doctor and... Or the Bill and Nardo... Look for the Doctor. And find the Doctor. That was good. I like how Bill created a... Imaginary version of her mum. And that's what ended up... Destroying the monks in the end. But... From there on out, it seemed like a different episode. Because, well... They didn't bring that up, the shooting up again. They just forgot about it. Like, haha, prank. Right, let's carry on. And even the soldiers that were involved, they didn't really have much to do apart from that one guy who lost his headphones and then got brainwashed again. But there's one thing I do like, Missy. That was good. The fact that she was in the vault and she generally seemed like she wanted to change. Great performance by Michelle Gomez. And how she got off Scaro, which I've been meaning to bring up. How did she get off Scaro? I don't think that was ever brought up. But, hey. Okay, so we need some. This series needs to have some Dalek continuity, so we need to forget about something. Anyway, I think I'll give this episode 6 out of 10. Just, it could have been so much more, and it wasn't. So, combining the score with Extremist that got 7, Pyramid at the End of the World that got 8, and this one that got 6. Well, hold on, there's another thing. It is three title sequence. I did like that, but... Seriously, the Doctor only had one, one scene where he seemed to be completely working with the monks. And that was the pre-title sequence. Everything else, we next time we saw him, it was with Bill. Just why? You should have had another one. Or pay, play audio recordings or something like that. It's just... God, this episode's annoying. Right, so back to the scores. Twenty one out of thirty. And next episode we journey to Mars. For Empress of Mars.